Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Revolution 3 Let's Play series. Close. Stupid door. So, uh, you can see what I've got in my hand. It's our lovely uh, ethanol, our lovely meth, where Colony Heisenberg, that we made in the last episode. So, uh, what we need to do now is uh, get more of it uh, being produced, make sure that we have a, a very a large amount of it. Um, currently here you've got 20 sludge. It's, it's not good enough. We need more yeast. Uh, that means we need more sugar. Um, so we need to get enough of this stuff so that we can run our uh, our gas engine. But we don't have our gas engine yet, so now would also be a very good time to build one. So we're going to build a gas engine, and then we're going to go and, uh, and get some more um, sugarcane production going. So first of all, we need a right here. The gasoline engine. So we need a 2x gear unit, some gold, uh, some pistons, an ignition unit, a uh, which just we have all the stuff we need for all of this, uh, impeller, some base panels, and a shaft. Unit. So we just need a bunch of steel for the pistons and you know, the gold ingots. I don't know why I clicked on that. And a 2x gear unit, which is some more gears. So it's a good thing we have. Well, we had a bunch of gears. Um, we're still going to need these. We're going to need some more. Um, First things first, I can make the shaft, uh, the 2x gear unit, uh, just like that. I also, just really quickly, want to go over here, uh, grab this leather out of, out of here, and make sure that I am continuously processing this rawhide. I could just build a whole much more drying racks, but uh, you know me. I'm not exactly, uh, I don't exactly do things in the optimal fashion. <laughs> Um, so, uh, the ignition unit, which is steel, redstone, and gold. We could also use electrum, which I can make, because I think I have silver grit. And, uh, we have gold dust. And do I, actually, I have some electrum here, so we can just use that. And I'll need some redstone. So we've already got our two electrum, which is fantastic. Um, I have too much crap in my inventory, however. Um, let's get rid of some of it. This is full. I need to organize the storage in this place. It's getting out of hand. Um, very out of hand. So, our ignition unit, which is like this, and like that, and then two electrum. We've got our ignition unit. Now we need our uh, pistons, which are just eight ingots each. Like that. I'm surprised they're not piston shaped. Actually, you get two for that, which is great. It's been a while since I built one of these. What is this? Gas lift, oh, pneumatic crap. Um, the impeller, which is a gear and four steel. We don't have any gears, so we gotta make some more gears. Those three gears, so gear, and then more of the steel. So now we have the impeller. And now we need more base panels and a shaft unit. So we will craft ourselves and some more. Ah, that's shaft units, so I don't have room for that. I should have crafted the base panels first. Get rid of that, let's get rid of that grab and carry this stuff. Oh, I have cord stone. I don't know why I have cord stone in my inventory. And, uh, and then we craft some more base panels. Now we have everything that we need. We can come over to the actual workbench and put together this... Oh, we can't do that. That's right. Uh, that goes there. And actually we need a piece of gold. That's the one thing I'm missing. Which looks very shiny. I, must, I, I do quite like how shiny the gold is. So, we have our gold and our ignition unit, and then our pistons go here, and our, impe our impeller goes here, our 2x gear unit, our shaft unit, and our base panels. That gives us our gasoline engine. Now, uh, the, the, the easiest way to um, place this down is obviously uh, just placing it on the ground. We do, however, need to ha put a bevel gear onto the rock melter because the, um, the rock melter takes its power in from underneath. Uh, so in order to make ourselves a that, we need a bevel gear. And the bevel gear is crafted with a gear, two shafts, a bunch of base panels. So we can just um, make some more base panels. And it's five base panels, which is what we need. So we now have what we need to go ahead and make that. Slap that like that. This and this. And then gear unit. Uh, gear. Although if you 
think about it, you technically need a 2x gear unit because you need two gears per, but don't give Rick any ideas when the bevel gear is more expensive. Anyway, we've got four bevel gears now, which I always, I always like the fact that you get so many bevel gears. Really nice. Uh, now we need to input our power from the east. That uh, appears to be the direction. And I'll put it up. Yep, that's the proper. And now the, the uh, lovely little rock melter could just go on top of it. However, we really want to fill this gasoline engine up, and right now we don't have to do that. Um, the problem is that without an engine control unit, we won't be able to turn it off. So we really should make one, which requires a circuit board, which requires either silicone or an ender pearl. I have plenty of ender pearls. What does it take to get silicone? It takes a furnace with a friction here at 800C. Well, we can't do that. So it looks like an ender pearl is going to be what we use. We need to get some uh, more water as well. Uh, that's what we want to do as well. We want to set up a water supply this episode. So the first thing we should do, we'll make the engine control unit later. <clears throat> we don't even have the resources, excuse me, to run that uh, gas engine. So let's do what I, let's make sure we get done what I said I was going to do the last episode and try and get ourselves a water supply. Um, let me make a pump, because we're going to need a pump. Um, actually, what are our other options? Um, where's my handbook? It's right here. What are our other options? Actually, it wouldn't be in this one, would it? Would it be in this one, or would it be in the other book? Uh, there's the pump. Um, so, so, obsidian factory. Dew point aggregator. How much power does this thing even work? Does it need? Uh, it needs 8,192 watts at 4096 radians. Um, 4096. 8192 is um, two of these. Funnily enough, so uh, with two windmills, we could run a dew point aggregator and just uh, have our, pow our, our, um, our water production in the base. However, it's much cheaper to just make a pump and pump it in from that river. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, we'll do it. Although, what was the other thing I was talking about? Railcraft, um, the Railcraft water tank, the three by three hollow block that just produces water passively, passively, which requires uh, slime balls, tar drops, or, or beeswax, or cactus green. Hey, we can use cactus green. So I actually want to build one of these water tanks um, because they're really, really good, at just storing up water continuously. Uh, so let's do that. Actually, since all we need is cactus green wood and iron ingots, which we have. Uh, quite a few of. We need uh, three by three by three hollow, so we need 26 of those, and they craft in lots of six, so we need to craft that three, four, five times, and we'll have some left over. So all we need to do is go out and grab some cactus, and all we need is uh, five of that. So we got one, one out of that, and we'd like to get more out of it. Um, yeah, so um, we should talk about my uh, processes here. My thought here is that um, it's going to be a good idea to have a continual, to just have a guaranteed source of water. The, the thing I'm worried about with the uh, using a pump uh, is that those rivers, they ice over. They ice over, and um, as you can see, the, the one river is currently iced over. I don't think that other, that other stream might not ice over, but I'm still a bit concerned about the icing over. So I, I wouldn't want our water supply to suddenly ice over and, um, and then be gone um, because it can't get to it. And plus, uh, I've heard that the water is not infinite actually get used up so I'd like to have an infinite supply of water as well which is what this is so we need wood um, I should have a bunch of logs did I actually no I never actually chopped that tree down that's another thing I wanted to do is, is set up a um, yeah let's go oh I have I have cacti I forgot that I had cacti uh, let's just spring I have plenty of food I can spring and we'll go chop this tree to get ourselves some some wood just to make Actually, I don't have enough inventory space to chop that tree. Let's just get this out of our inventory. And, uh, 
to chop a tree. All these trees are really big, so I could chop these smaller trees, but I don't want to get rid of these, uh, you know, ingredient trees. Oh, I thought we had, um, I thought that we chopped the trees down. I could have sworn that we had the thing where it chops the whole tree down. I, I know we did, didn't we? Oh well, I don't need that much, so that'll be like, enough. I really thought we... Come on, sprint! I really thought we had the thing that chopped trees down. I know we did. What's going on? Does this axe not uh, work? Is it not recognized? That mod? I don't know. Anyway, we've got our wood, uh, so we can build our, our water tank. Um, and the thing about the water tank is that it produces slowly, so it's not going to uh, supply high, uh, uh, highly water-intensive operations. But it should be more than enough to, power, to run our uh, fermenter uh, and a couple of other things probably for our, for our purposes. Definitely would not run steam engines long-term, so we will get a pump. This is just a... Um, I guess you could say a uh, more expedient method for now. We need to craft it five times. Fill that in. Six, 12, 18, 24, and then we have to craft it 30. Okay, so now all I have to do is go upstairs. Let's go up to the surface and uh, I'll just fly up here. Now my potentia is running extremely low on this. Uh, thermostatic harness so I'm very quickly going to lose my uh, ability of flight here so uh, that won't be nice we'll have to deal with that when it happens so uh, I want to place this probably like right here um, we're gonna end up using this for the farm as well uh, probably so I don't want to put it too far away from the farm but we want to make it easy to get the water into this room which is where it's primarily going to be used so uh, I suppose we'll just put it here. Um, doesn't matter how I place it down. But I do always uh, like to have it off the ground. Um, so that you know, it's easier to get to the, the output. Is, I believe you have to output the water from the bottom. I mean, you can just right click on it and get the water out if you want to get it out. You don't have to pipe it out. water tank. So we're, we're generating water. It's going to be a bit slower. I think this is a desert biome. Does this qualify as a desert biome? It's a mesa plateau. I think that qualifies as a dry biome, so I don't, the water is not going to go up very quickly. But uh, anyway, there we go. So, um, to easily get the water out of this, I'm going to... Uh, we're just going to place some blocks. We're going to dig down one level. As well, place down some blocks so that this stuff doesn't, uh, doesn't cave in. Dig that out. Dig these out. We've got to do this so that the sand doesn't cave in. Like that. Maybe we can dig down. Do the same. Until we get down to where the actual there's the carpenter's block right there, so that this is now no stop it. This is the top. Ah, that's right. That's the ceiling. So there is there it is. So now we'll just have to run a pipe down that. That won't be difficult. Um, running it across the ceiling, we'll run it across the ceiling to this, uh, this here. We'll run it down here, and then we'll run it over into the. Inventory. Nothing is in an ideal position, and we'll end up moving all this out eventually. But for now, uh, it'll be uh, good enough. So we now have a water supply. We just have to pipe it into the actual, um, actually pipe it into the uh, fermenter. Which means we need pipes, obviously. 
It would have been easier to place the water thing down here, but I think the water tank needs to have a view of the sky in order to function anyway. Um, so, that's going to be a lot of, of water pipes. Um, obviously, I, I do want to use uh, rotary craft liquid pipes if it'll work. We get 16 per recipe, so it would be. We need three glass for our six ingots. Um, and I know. Can we smelt this red sand into glass? Does it does it smelt into glass? Uh, is that kind of glass? Is that just standard glass, or is that like some sort of glass of? No, it's the standard glass, so we can we can smelt the red sand. I was worried that the uh, extra metadata things on there might have uh, made it so that you can't use this type of glass. Let's just smelt the whole thing of red sand. We don't need red sand. Okay, that's glass noise. We also need to get more um, sugar from more yeast. But Haggle has changed the way that... Uh, the spawning works in Rev 3. That's why it doesn't say fear the moon anymore. It says fear the rain. Apparently mobs do not spawn outside unless it's raining. I mean, they always spawn underground. But when it's raining... Uh, they spawn everywhere. Yeah, see? There we go. Okay, so now we'll place our some more cobblestone right here just to protect that. And uh, here we go, we got water coming down. I hope this stops mobs from falling through. It, it it's, seems to be, but I don't actually know uh, for sure if it will. Anyway, let's fly back up here. And uh, uh, I was going to run this along the ceiling. Oh yeah, I can't do that. I have to knock it down another level. Okay, um, one or two more recipes will be required, I think. So, we will make another batch. I really, the reason I like using liquid pipes from Rotary Craft so much is they're, they're just my favorite liquid pipe. I just like them a lot. Call me crazy. I really like Rotary Craft liquid pipes. No. Oh. There. It's pumped in. Piped in. There's not enough water pressure to currently get the water where it's supposed to go. But we'll just have to wait for that to get down there. Anyway. In the meantime, we need to go and get some more sugar. We also need to find our, our dirt. Here's our dirt. And, uh, and we need to go get some more sugar. Good. Oh, crap. I guess we're not going to get more sugar. Because of those guys. Well, great. We are under siege again. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, oh, we could always fly out of here. This would be like a little escape hatch, too. Be like that. Um, has our sugar cane grown at all? Of course it hasn't. That would have been uh, too good. That would have been too nice um, for that to have happened. Oh! How is the accuracy from down there? I'm hoping that I can hit them. Their ability to hit me will be impaired. Yeah, I gotta go for those headshots to get them to explode. Shower of gore. So it does reward you for not panicking if you can get the right headshot. Just headshot the dude.
come on. There we go. I'm gonna fly down here. See if anything good dropped off these guys. Some pants that are badly damaged. A little bit of gunpowder. Don't see anything else very good. All right, well, that's it for this episode. It's going to have to be it. So we got our water supply. Not the best water supply, but once the um, pipes fill up and this thing starts generating excess water, uh, it'll start feeding into our uh, fermenter and uh, allow us to get... See, it's coming down the pipe. And allow us to, uh, once we get some more sugar for our yeast, produce more stuff. We got some soldier's pants, which if we go ahead and repair these, uh, protection four... This is protection five. There's no extra protections. Uh, tech guns, of course, has the extra protection. So we'll, maybe we'll look into making a repair bench to repair that. Anyway, uh, so we, we got our water supply this episode. We've made our gas engine. So uh, I think we're in. Uh, we're getting there. We're making progress towards our lava, which is for obsidian, which is to make ourselves the obsidian steel that we need to make uh, powerful guns and good armor in tech guns. So that's our to-do list, and we're working on it. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to join our Discord. Uh, stuff's happening. It's a happening place. And uh, I'm going to try and or organize some cool stuff in the future. Uh, follow me on Twitter if, if, for uh, so that you uh, get the instant updates when the videos go live. And stay tuned for more like this. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.